Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage. It's getting an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us. Today, we are going to be looking at the Ministry of Time VR. Save the time, save the world. So, the El Ministerio del Tiempo. We are going to travel through time. I am looking forward to this, especially if we're actually going to be in VR. From what I know, this is a FMV game or it's an FMV experience that is just to be watched and enjoyed. The last time we did one of these, I think it was uh, Control, wasn't it? It was the uh, Home Abuse one, and it was, ugh, dude, that was dark. It was dark, and I really enjoyed it, but it was one of those things where I was like, oh, man, um, maybe it's kind of like one of those ones where somebody might get uh, upset by what's going on in it, and actually, I don't want to be a bearer of um, but ill will to anyone, but at the same time, it's, it's a very important issue that I need to be talked about and thought about. So yeah, um, El Ministerio del Tiempo, Ministry of Time. Let's take a look. Oh my God, it's zooming in! It's uh, one of the things where I keep on forgetting that we really do get a, almost a 3D effect while playing these games because of the dual cameras. Um, it's the reason why things like Theseus are so immersive. I look at the mess. Oh, Jesus. English Espanol? Play. emergency combination. I hope the janitor did his work. The code numbers are spread out among the folders, the boxes, and the room. It's not very orthodox, I know, but it works. Find the numbers, get out of there, and help me to take control. Right, I need to start searching for the numbers, man. As problems never appear alone, here we have a second problem. Switch on the monitor you have on the desk. I'll send you some shots of the security camera in the corridor with the doors. Before leaving, the intruders blocked 4-5. Lola Mendieta traveled through that door in order to investigate a tip-off about an attack on the Parliament of Cadiz in 1812. If we can't unblock it, we won't be able to prevent the attack. The corridor of the doors could explode again. And Lola will die. Now do what you have to do in order to solve this. Keep searching and find the numbers. Lombardi, a person able to change history for his own benefit. Will it conceal a clue? Amelia Falk and her family. We miss her at the ministry. One of our best agents. Viridiana, one of my favorite films. It's just as well we fixed the matter of the alternative ending. There it is. One more step. Where is what? Where was it? I didn't see where the number was, dude. Oh, there it is. One. Huh. Right. For God's sake.
One more. Hurry up. Lola needs this. from that photo, isn't there? Will is one of the key pieces. Bingo! <laughs> Sometimes things seem to appear as if by magic. We are sure that the attackers are fleeting angel. There must be something which gives us an advantage over them. Examine this painting thoroughly. Time is running against us. Don't leave anything uninvestigated. Come on! Keep on looking! Right. Um, whoa, shit. Um, we have to put an end to this and return Lola to the Ministry. Concentrate, for God's sake. Come on. I came as fast as I could. What happened? The Exterm Angel again. They escaped through that door, number 056. Go through it and put an end to this once and for all. Hello? Lola! Lola! Please don't let us down. We're depending on you. And we'll keep in touch by intertime telephone. Okay. Obviously, this is a Spanish one that actually has been turned into English. And the, uh, the subs. Focus and don't waste any more time. Don't you realize the gravity of the situation? We need a solution now. Point four megahertz. Yeah, radio. Is there a component missing? Look closely and find out how to make that piece of junk work. Is there a component missing? Look closely and find out how to make that piece of junk work. Maybe there's a part missing. 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 We're not going to achieve it this way. Maybe there's a part missing. Yeah, I can hear you that there might be a part missing. I figure out where the drawer might be that she has hiding in. Maybe there's a part missing. Oh my God, it moves so slow. Maybe there's a part missing. Ah, uh, no. Keep 
Oh, look how much more oh come time. on, it made me actually go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. Maybe there's a part missing. I'll take over from here. You go back to the ministry. For God's sake. Don't thank me. It was you. Thank you so much. I don't know what would have happened if it were you. Excellent work. Now take a cup. I need you. You two, come to my office, please. Yes, sir. All right. Tell me what you found out. Let's see. When I... Good job. You too, you a ball. What the fuck's going on? God damn. Uh. Well guys, uh, that was El Ministerio del Tiempo. Boom, 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 Espanol, English. Yes, El Ministerio del Tempio. That was it. That's all there was. It's all gone. It's all done. It's all over. It's all over. Oh. Ah. My eyes. Mine eyes. Oh god, right. Woo! Right. I can obviously uh close this here now because that's it done and dusted. That was the Ministry of VR experience available on the PSN. It was a two lock room puzzles, really one of them was find a code, the one was actually uh put the pieces together. Unbelievably frustrating movement, uh slowing you down, being able to do anything that you really wanted to do quickly. Not exactly trying to, like, it doesn't compare with, um, there was a really, really good expansion -y bit for, uh, Resident Evil 7, where you were trapped in a room, and you have to kind of figure out the order of stuff to do to stop, um, yourself from being killed while being trapped in the room, and then making your proper escape. It was a, it was a well worth experience as an, as an additional piece of content, but, uh, this was, uh, not so much the case, but, um, yeah, it's still interesting, like, people are actually trying to do this mixed media thing where we'll apply film and uh, game mechanics together and we'll see what kind of lunacy comes out of otherwise. Uh, obviously that was shot on like a really wide angle 360 cameras and then ended up actually being edited together to be the cutscenes in between. Uh, it caught me off guard the fact that it was in Spanish. I was like, guess with the name being like this, the logo being like this, I assumed it was going to be in Spanish, but I thought it was like a subtitles thing, not that they had dubbed over the whole thing in English and then it's really obvious during the cutscenes. But um, yeah, enjoyable enough. Uh, I I done it so you don't have to. That solved your problem. But uh, yeah, Ministerio del Tiempo, well worth actual check out if you get the chance. So yeah, uh, not much really to say about it otherwise. I mean, you literally saw the entirety of its content, including its credits. It is a very short experience, and this is the, these are the things that actually annoy me about VR is that people are making these small experiences. These small experiences are not retaining people. They're like you can pump out these pretty fast and they actually make it I don't think they make a profit most of the time they're mostly like art experiments it's actually use them in the VR medium and as much as I enjoy them I don't think there's actually like a future if it continues on in that path it, it definitely feels the gimmicky side of things rather than actually the mechanically correct side especially whenever it's um two environments that like I, I imagine that was actually probably better produced filmically than it was actually uh gaming wise because the mechanics of the game were very very uncomfortable to use 
especially with the whole replacing objects to buy a place they came from, if you're halfway across the room, that, that, that was, that's stupid. But uh, yeah, you can still have plenty of time to work your way around it. So yeah, Ministry of Time VR. Um, I think that VR kind of wiped me out a little bit. Mm, I'm going to have to say goodnight to you all, guys. I'm actually really enjoying it. But um, life moves on. The... I'm trying to think of what I was going to say there. God, my brain literally just like wiped itself. I, I did a full disc wipe whenever I rubbed my eyes. So if you guys actually haven't been watching this on any source that isn't YouTube essentially, because even then if you're watching on YouTube and you use Adblock, I ask you very, very politely, if you may, if you can, if you wish, if you do, if you do plan to actually do any shopping of any sort, take a look at the affiliate links below the video because they actually have links to places and things that you probably will be using like Amazon coming up to Christmas or Play Asia if you're really into the Asian games that I play on the channel. Go to those pages, go use those links below. It'll actually allow you to go and shop with them and anything you buy during that session. It'll, I'll get a, a commission for it, essentially. It's a, a affiliate links. That's essentially what they're there for. The affiliate links will actually make it people want to pay me because I'll be talking about them. And um, they're all listed below the channel if you want to go and check them out. No, no sponsorship, sadly. I don't get sponsored by any of them. I only make money if you guys buy someone, so. Hooray! Commission-based sales love life. So, um, yeah, if you happen to be watching any of them on those, and if you don't want to do shop at any of those stores, you can still support the channel. The easiest way to support the channel is to head up Patreon, patreon.com forward slash pastiche of skin. Give us a buck. Give us a buck for a month. One buck per month. Not that lot to ask, but if you actually have the spare change to do so, I would really appreciate it. Um, yep, so pretty much uh, anything else I'm trying to remember. Yeah, if you haven't been watching this on YouTube, there's a button up there. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that button. The button's damn useful. That button makes everything feel a little bit better. And any other buttons that are related to Reddit, you can hit those two. Ups, downs, likes, shares, whatever the hell it is. It actually makes you feel happy. It makes me feel happy too. Feel free to do so. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, like I said, there'll be a box right here. will be a playlist. Over there will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and all the things you do on YouTube and the things you watch. It will pick a video from the stuff that I have made that you will enjoy. And we'll place it right here for your viewing pleasure. So if you caught this by chance, you want to know more, but you want to know what you should check out of the channel. This is what you should see. This is the one that I highly recommend to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.